Well, look, it's yet another month where we sit here and say that the data is backing up very much what families are already feeling, that the cost of things is rising and it's rising very quickly. Uh, so the CPI we're looking at, the Consumer Price Index, it's the standard cost of a, a, an average basket of goods and services, and it rose by 5.4% in the 12 months to December. That, K is the largest inflation rise in 30 years, which is really significant. And it's actually, I think, the third time in a row that I've sat here, the third month in a row I've sat here to you and said it's higher than what economists predicted as well. I think they expected it to be about 5.2%. It's radically above the Bank of England's target at 2%. So really a sense that this cost of living crisis we're seeing that so many families are facing uh, continues, unfortunately. The other reason why it's so significant is we found out just yesterday as well that uh, the, the, sort of the, uh, the rate of inflation has now outstripped uh, the rate of wage rises. And of course, that really matters because inflation and price rises can be managed a bit as long as wages are rising uh, in line with them. We found out yesterday that in November, actually workers had a real terms pay cut of 1%. And given that that was just November, unfortunately, that's probably set to continue uh, in the months to come. There's a few drivers to all this. Uh, the price of energy we know a lot about, the price of fuel, the price of food, um, all going up. And at the Bank of England, again, you know, they have the tool of raising interest rates, the one tool they have to try and keep some of this heat out of the economy. They did raise them just a little bit in December, but they'll also want to look at keeping them low because that's how the economy is supported out of difficult times and it has been difficult times. So a very difficult balancing act for them. Okay. Certainly the government, I think, will be concerned about okay. these.